Hey guys, uh, the next album I'm going to make in the Paper Dream, um, from the Paper Dream printable, is the 4x6 portrait. Um, <laughs> and I am going to be using uh, this paper line. This is the uh, Tales of You and Me from Prima. And it's one of my giveaways. Remember this whole paper line with all the little goodies and stuff? It's part of my giveaway. So <laughs> when I wasn't thinking. I knew I was going to make my uh, some of my albums with this paper line, so I don't know what I was thinking. I used it for my 4x6 prototype uh, mock-up book. I used it for the Tales of Us um, uh, flip book, my first flip book. Uh, I'll put a link below or somewhere uh, to this video if you want to see it. I used it in that. Um, I used it for the mock-ups for the 3x4 landscape and portrait. I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't, but um, any who's. So, I'm finding myself not having enough paper. So, I'm not going to dig into the giveaway stuff. That's right. That would be unfair. So, what I am going to do is um, I do have... I do have a fresh 6x6 and I do have a fresh 4x6 and a fresh 3x4 paper pad but then I also have these two here and then my 12x12 12 12, there's not much left in there but I'm going to do this one three ways. I'm going to do three different albums believe it or not. I'm using the same paper and I'm going to do it three different ways. Um, the same pages three different ways. Does that make sense? You'll understand in a minute. <laughs> so I also from when I made this Tales of Us flip book, I had already got a bunch of scraps um, left from that. So I'm going to use these scraps. Remember, this is my uh, Scrapper Keeper. Um, I'll link the video to the making of the Scrapper Keeper uh, either up here or down there in the description box below. So I'm going to use my scraps for that. And I'm also going to use some old book pages because I really liked the look that old book pages uh, has with this paper line. So I'm going to use some old uh, book pages. And I'm going to be using some black cardstock and I'm going to be using some white cardstock. So this is the Paper Studio. Uh, this is what I had. I ran out of my recollections, which I like better. This is really too soft. So I just wanted to kind of point that out, but I'm going to use it anyway. And then I'm going to use the 110 pound white cardstock I get from Staples. Okay, now let me get all this out of the way and we'll get started. Okay, I apologize right off the bat about if you hear lawn mowers, it's a Saturday afternoon and everybody's mowing their lawn, including my son. So if you hear a lawnmower, I apologize. I'm trying to take advantage of the empty house right now. Um, okay, so what you will need for this album, I wrote it down for you. We're going to do the first page. You're going to need two of the pages, uh, two page number fours, one page 16 and one page 17. Okay, so I've printed it off on white cardstock. This is going to be one of the three ways I'm going to make this page. I printed it off onto the 12x12 12 12 pattern paper and I also printed it off on black cardstock and this is the third way and it's not going to have, um, it's just going to have the quarter of an inch border and not the eighth of an inch. So it's just going to be like that. So the pages are going to be exactly the same pages and exactly the same flips and all of that but they're going to be done in three different styles, if that makes sense. So, um, let's just get going on it. Let's just do it. Let me move this. Let me move my book. All right. So, I think what I'm going to do is I've cut most of the parts out of these two page styles. And then I've left all of this. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to cut out the main base um, using the pretty cardstock. Because, because I want to. So I'm going to grab my paper trimmer and we'll get cutting. So remember I told you you needed two of those. Well, one you want to print out and we're going to use as the main base and it's going to be portrait. And then the other one we're going to cut it in half and it's going to make uh, two pockets. Okay. So what you want to do is when you trim this one out, you want to cut the two long flaps off. 
So, like that. And like that. And keep your pieces because um, this can be used, that side can be used, that, that, that pretty pattern paper. Also, I get asked this a lot and people ask, well, how do you get it on your pattern paper? All you have to do, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm having an allergy attack today, so if I sound weird, I apologize. All you have to do is um, cut your paper down to whatever size paper is standard where you are. So for me, it's eight and a half by 11. And then I run it through my printer, and if, I, if, if on your printer settings, you can't see the whole entire picture, then you need to unclick a box um, or click a box. Oh. What was that? Hold on. That was weird. Okay, I think it might storm. I think it's going to storm. It's bright and sunny out, but it sounds like that was thunder. Anywho, um, so yeah, you just want to change your printer settings. So let's say if you um, your standard paper size is A4, well, your printer's already set up for A4. You just need to um, unclick the fit to page box, okay? Uh, or or click it depending on your printer and if you can see the whole page then you're good to go it's going to be the A4 size is slightly smaller than what our standard size is um, with Y so the book's going to be slightly smaller um, but it's just that simple so you you know it's adjustable I guess huh I have an adjustable printable <laughs> oh, okay anyway so then you want to leave the two short flaps on there and just trim it. You don't even have to be very precise on this. You don't have to leave that whole entire, it's a half an inch, you don't have to leave the whole thing. Um, and then you want to trim those corners off so it helps things slide in and out easily. My paper trimmer is the heavy duty Fiskars um, rotary paper trimmer. Sorry about that glare. I had it. <laughs> um, this is my favorite, and when I'm doing a lot of when I'm doing a lot of um, trimming, this is the one I reach for. Okay, so then this one, you just want to cut it completely out. Just like that. And keep all your scraps, remember there's all kinds of little bits and pieces that can be um, used in this printable. All right, look, <laughs> I didn't, I'm such a terrible trimmer, I swear, but that's okay. I'm gonna move this out of the way. So then what you wanna do is you wanna score the um, flaps that were left. You just line it up. This is a Martha Stewart scoreboard. It's kind of a mini. And score both of those ends there, like that. And fold it to prep. Bone folder to burnish it good. Make a good, nice, crisp fold. Then open it back up. And I'm, whoa, I'm using um, score tape from ScorePal, Sue Queen, double-sided, strong adhesive. You don't have to use a dry adhesive. You could use uh, wet. You could use um, Fabri-Tac. You can use Scotch Quick Dry, any of those. It'll just take it a little bit longer to dry. So that's why I like to use my score tape. And so then... Let me get my glue stick handy and ready. I'm gonna take the backing off of one side here. I'm gonna run the glue stick down it. So if this had a direction, which this one doesn't, I don't believe, no. Um, you wanna try to pay attention to that. So I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna attach it down. I'm gonna match up the corners there. And I'm gonna try to match it up all the way down here like that looks pretty good looks pretty good and then I'm gonna take the backing off of this side 
I'm gonna do a little bit of glue stick. And then I'm just going to mm, match it up. Oh, I got off a little bit. Oh well. Uh, that's just a Hobby Lobby Paper Studio cheapy glue stick. Um, just like that. So then you want to ink it. Look, look, I got uh, I got a new I got a new um, ink pad for YouTube. Yay! It's this one's Archival Ink by Ranger and Coffee. Okay. So I'm going to ink the edge. I mean, I literally just opened the sucker up. It's probably going to be juicy. There we go. Ink the edges if you want. You don't have to. It's already pre-distressed, but not everything is going to, um, you know, if you trace something out or whatever, you're going to have to ink, ink those up. So that's ready to go. And I've got it on this little plastic thing so I can stand my, my thing up so it has a place. It has a home. Because <laughs> I don't want to mess my... Look at my other one. Right? Oh, ooh. Right? Yeah, I like this one. <laughs> Okay. Oh. All right, so I'm going to scooch that out of the way. So there is the main base. So I am going to go off camera, and I am going to do the black main base and the white main base, and I'll be back. Okay, um, here they are. All three base pages are made. There's the black one, there's the pattern paper, and there's the white. So the next thing I want to do is I want to have a flap. So you're going to need the other page four. I'm going to have, a, I'm going to make this page into a flap and I'm going to make a, a two pockets. So the first thing you want to do is cut this piece off right there. Just like that. And then you want to leave a half an inch right here. So. Let's measure this real quick. It's a little over five. So let's just guess that this is um, about a half inch on this side. Um, let's go right there. I'm gonna cut it at four and three fourths. Oh, that's not very big of a flap. Ugh, that was not good. I did not leave myself enough room. I should have cut it at five. Duh. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm just going to have to make it work. So, or make another one. No, I better just make it work. And then you want to cut these two ends off. Like that. And then you just want to tab these because we're going to score it and yeah, just tab it, just tab it, just like that. We're going to score it and make a flap. Okay, so there's the flap. And then with the pocket, I'm going to trim it out over here on this side. can't believe I cut that so skinny. What was I thinking? Sometimes I just don't think. That's the problem. Okay, trim it out all the way around, leaving all four flaps there. And then, before you do anything else, you want to go ahead and score it while it's all together. Like this, it just makes it easier. You score on that one. It doesn't look like that straight cut. Score there. Turn it, score here, turn it, score here. Okay. So then what you want to do is you want to cut it directly down the middle. So I'm going to try not to think too much here. So I think I'd be two and three fourths is where I'm going to be cutting it. Two and three fourths. So that gives me two pockets, okay? We're just going to use one side of this for our first page in the album, the 4x6 album. So I'm going to sit this aside in my pile of stuff, and then I'm going to move this. So then you just want to tab these 
and cut these corners off. And I've already got the, the black one and the pattern paper one prepared. Oh, I didn't score this. I didn't score my little baby flap here. Let's get that. It looks like I might, uh, I don't know. I don't know if my tape will even fit on there. It's so tiny, what in the world? Okay. I might have to make another one. We'll see. Alrighty, I'm, oh, I didn't finish having this one. And of course, uh, no, I'm not gonna ink it yet. Let me find my tape. Oh, I got so much stuff on my table right here. Oh. Oh, that's, that's disappointing. Goodness. Well, I'm just going to try to make it work here. Okay. And then I want to put tape on these. And all three flaps are... What do I call them in the guidebook? Do I call them flaps? I don't know. Just like that. And then I'm going to prep them. And I'm going to stick that this long flap here to these side ones so that things don't get hung up. A little bit of tape hanging over there. Press that down. All right, now I'm gonna ink. I'm gonna ink these up. You definitely want to ink the edges that you cut that are gonna be raw and everything else is inked but that edge, you know. Definitely wanna get that one. And with the black, cardstock obviously you don't have to ink that at all unless you're doing like a white edge which that might be kind of cool it might be so okay I'll put my lid on right there all right now we're going to add it to the first I'm going to add the flap here <clears throat> Good Lord. Okay, I'm going to take this off, the backing off. Please work, please work. <laughs> and then I've got, I don't, I don't know how well you can tell, but I've got a little bit of tape that's like hanging over the edge. We can't have that, so I'm going to bend it over on itself. it'll grab it'll stick it glue it down if I leave it okay so I'm just gonna since this isn't a directional paper either I'm just going to pick a side oh oh my glue stick okay, I'm gonna slide that in there and I'm gonna try to you don't go over that score mark and I'm gonna push it down And since I didn't go over that score mark, um, there's a little bit of a, it's, it's kind of moved over just slightly, but that's okay. All right, so there's the flap, and then the pocket I'm going to put right here. I'm going to add glue stick to everything. Ow, I just squeezed my skin in there. Then I'm going to line it up. You need to be careful not to go over. This is the spine side, so you don't want to go over that. I'm just going to carefully line it up. And there is the pocket. Ta-da! 
And then the last thing I want to add to this page is um, this belly band. I'm going to cut this belly band out. Let me grab my paper trimmer. So I'm just going to cut this big one off. This is the extra large one right here. I'm not going to use that on this page. So I'm going to set it aside. I just want this large one. So there we go. There we go. I just want that large one. I'm going to set the other ones aside. Oh, you know what? While I got this out, in the belly band is going to go page number 16's large um, booklet. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that out too. Since I got my paper trimmer up. And I'm a, this is the small one, so I'm going to use this for something else. And then one of my favorite things to do when I am making these booklets to make sure they're even is I score it first before I finish trimming it out. Score it and fold it. So that way it will be even on all sides. Okay, so now I'm going to finish trimming this out. I probably showed you this. I can't remember um, what I did yesterday, but I probably showed you how to make this with the 6x6 album. Alright, so there's the uh, booklet. It's, it's an insert booklet, so let me move this. Okay, so I'm just going to take my scissors um, and trim these edge ends off here. You've got two choices. You can leave these little flaps on or you can take them off and have a tighter belly band. So let me cut these little doodads off. And I'm going to score those. Just like that. I'm going to fold it. And then I'm going to put my tape on. I always laugh at myself when I'm making albums because look, I have these big Fiskars scissors, I have Tim Holtz tonic, and I have these little EK Success uh, Cutter B. I use all three. I don't know. Who needs three pairs of scissors while they're working? I do. <laughs> I just think it's funny. I mean, I do. I laugh at myself. Everything has its purpose. My dad taught me that there's the right tool for the job. It makes the job go that much faster and easier. So, this is true. This is absolutely true. All right, I'm going to ink this up. Oh, why do I keep taking it out of my little plastic thing? It's not being very useful if I to keep doing that. Okay, and I'm going to ink up the booklet too, but I'll do that off camera. All right, so this is the front of the page with the pocket and the flap, and then we're going to flip it over, and that is where the belly band is going. So I'm going to take off the backing of the tape there, a little glue stick. Oh my gosh, that is some serious thunder. Wowzers. Okay, I'm going to stick that down. And take this side off, a little bit of glue stick, and flip it, flip it down. Ah, oh, I didn't, I didn't do something right. I didn't score something very good, but that's okay. Awesome. It looks fantabulous. Not in the center. Yes. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, so then this will go in here like a so. cell. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that to these. I've already got everything cut and prepared. So here is the pocket. And then here is the um, flap. Oh, you know what I did with this too? Where's my book? Let me show you. 
Um, this was a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock, a uh, pattern paper. And what I did, whoops, wrong page. Yeah, is I made myself another base template uh, out of part two. I left the flap on so that when I wanted to just have a flap, I didn't have to print out the whole page. So I left the flap on and then I traced it out. Let me find this. Okay, so here is the, the 12 by 12 pattern paper that I laid down this template onto the new one that I made just for this purpose. I laid down it where exactly where I wanted it and traced it out. And so then I just scored it one inch in, or not one inch, well, half an inch in right there. So that's also another option. If you don't want to print it out um, on the entire sheet, you know, you can make yourself another template. So that's what I did for this. I could have done them for all three. I could have done it that way for all three, but that's what I did for the pattern paper. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. This is just a piece of post-it tape. Um, I wrote down what I did so I wouldn't forget. So I'm gonna add this one. It's already got the tape on. It's already been inked. It's ready to go. I'm gonna put a little glue stick. And then I'm going to slide it in here. Let's do it this way. No. Let's do it this way. I'm gonna slide. Yep, I'm gonna slide it in here and not go over that score. Look, it's walking away from me. Um, there is a storm coming. That's crazy. My son had to quit cutting grass. He come in. Um can't cut the grass, Mom. It's lightning outside. Okay. So there's the flap. Easy, easy. And then here's my pocket, already taped, inked, ready to go, so it's gonna look like that. Take the backing off of this. Okay. And I just added that pocket. That, oh. oh, gosh. That is loud. Okay, added that pocket. And then I'm gonna flip it over. And I've got my belly band already here, cut out, ready to go. And I'm gonna take the backing off. I'm gonna go ahead and take the backing off both pieces. And then this one does have a direction, so I'm gonna make sure I put it on here right. And then I'm going to, again, try to center it. And we both, we both, we all know it's not gonna be. Oh, golly. That's close. Put glue stick on there. At least I could have it straight, I guess. There we go. So now I got my belly band on right there. And then I've already got the booklet made. And there again, there's some more post-it. I, I don't know where my post-it notes went, so I'm using post-it tape. Um, and this, I just... Since you don't have to mat it or anything, because it's already the pretty paper, see, it's just ready to go. And that is going to slide right there. See? Awesome. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. My, uh, my dog, my oldest dog, she's a little toy poodle, she just fell down the steps. She's really old, and I guess she, she may have shook wrong or something as she was walking down the steps, but that just startled me half to death. Um, where was I? Okay, so I got those two ready, and then I'm going to do this one real quick. Everything's already prepared. Glue stick. All right, while I've got this one out, I am gonna go ahead, I've already picked out mats for it. I'm just gonna go ahead and add them. These were from the four by six paper pad. Um, and this is literally four by six. So I'm just gonna take my Fabri-Tac, my Beacon, and this one is not gonna have the secondary mats on it. It's just the base and then the traceable template or the, um, just the straight up four by six. 
So even though this actually is supposed to go this way, it's a direction, I think it looks just fine like this. And I'm trying to match them up. I want them to kind of be the same. So I wanted to have like the same pattern on the front. You see what I'm saying? It's got the fence and the, okay, yeah. All right, so I've got that one for there. Here's another four by six card. And I'm gonna put that there. See how it's got that nice quarter of an inch border all the way around? And then I've got a piece. This was a four by six that I cut in half, slightly smaller than half, because I had to measure because I didn't have a template for this one. But in order for it to be a quarter of an inch all the way around, I had to cut it just slightly smarter, smarter, <laughs> smaller than half of the four. So it's like two or one and three fourths or something like that. Okay. I guess I could measure it for you. That way you know. Oh, there's that thunder. I don't know if y'all can hear that tonight. We got one and three fourths. Makes it a half an inch, or I mean a quarter of an inch all the way around. I don't know yet if I'm going to put anything right here because I'm going to have an uh, insert right there. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking on that still. And then for the back side, I have, oh, remember I told you, um, I was going to use my scraps and stuff. So this is one of the one inch strips out of here um, that fits this perfectly. It fits the large belly band perfectly. So I wanted to point that out too. Yes, I did. This way you can use all your scraps. And when I got my scrapper keeper out, I was looking at all the leftover scraps I have from different projects. Oh my gosh, I totally can... Um, make whole albums with a lot of it. I mean, it's amazing. So there's the belly band. And then I've already, um, I've already matted the booklet. I uh, wanted to point out, you may want to write this in your guidebook or your workbook. This is the exact size, the mat for that is the exact size of the large cutoff piece. So you can get, you can cover the front and back with one piece of your leftover large cutoff pieces. Okay, I just wanted to point that out. So yeah, cool, right? Alrighty. So let me put this back over here. So this, go right here. I'm not going to put a mat on the base there because um, it'll be all covered up anyway. But that'll go there, right? That looks cool. So then I wanted them all to have the same inserts. So what I decided to do was, let me get my workbook. I've got so much stuff. Um, what I decided to do was take the mats for the main base page B take the secondary mat and the traceable template mat and use those as the insert. So I made the insert base black out of black cardstock. So this is the secondary mat, right? And then I traced the traceable template onto the old book pages. Okay, so all the inserts are going to look the same on every, on all three of these uh, different pages. So let me show you what that ends up looking like. These are extras. So it ends up looking like this, right? So I cut two, one for the front, one for the back, right? Doesn't that look so good with this paper line? I mean, it's perfect. I don't know what it says. Um, it may not. It may not um, be appropriate. I didn't even look. Well, anyway. Okay. I'll have to look at those later. <laughs> Alrighty. So there we go. So there's the insert for that, and there's the insert for that, and so then this one. Um, I've got another one right here. It goes right here, right? So even the pattern paper one, the one I'm printing on top of the pattern paper, um, I'm going to use the black inserts or the black uh, cardstock as the insert and uh, the side inserts too. So see, that looks so good. It looks so awesome. 
Okay, so I got those two done. And then I don't think I've gotten the paper picked out for this yet. Let me have a look see here. I do, I did get the mats all cut, which I'm not going to show you how I did all of that. Um, so I'm going to go through and add all the mats here um, to it, and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got all the mats on. There's the insert. I didn't mat this because the insert is the same size as the mat for that. So I'm just going to leave the insert, I mean, as the mat, right? It looks pretty cool. Um, everything's matted, the uh, secondary mats. And then I've already picked out all my... Um, pattern paper. So I picked almost the exact same things that I used on this one. So I wanted you really to really be able to see the difference between the three pages and how awesome it all is. So I'm going to go through and add these on with my Fabri-Tac. I love having a new bottle of Fabri-Tac. It makes me happy. I didn't put this template on or this uh, mat on very straight, but this is just one of the 4x6 cards. And then so is this. It's just a 4x6 card. And then this goes here. Like that. This was a 4x6 card that I cut down to. Uh, it's 6 by one and 3 fourths to go into our little side pocket here like that. See how fast this goes together when you just, you know, when you just cut everything out and then go glue everything together. It's so awesome. And then this was one of the scraps from my Scrapper Keeper um, uh, plastic sleeve there. Whoa. Get a little sloppy with the glue. And then this one uh, on the inside these, this was one of the scraps too from the Scrapper Keeper page. It's one of the uh, large cutoff pieces. Goes just like that. Did I already mention everything's already been inked? And then this is also one of the scraps from the large cutoff piece. Well, that is just making me happy to use my scraps. It just is making me happy. Put that there. This one is a little different than the one here. That's the one um, that's on this one. But I couldn't find one to match, so I just grabbed something that was similar. Oh, here comes the rain. Finally. Okay, so then that's matted, all ready to go. So this goes in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be careful so I don't move the mat because that fabric tack will take a minute to really dry. So check it out. Look, there's the three back sides. That, isn't that cool? That is so cool. I'm gonna try to, um, I, wanna, I wanna zoom in, but I don't wanna get too terribly close. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, sorry about the wiggly wobbly. My camera lens is really heavy, so if I let go of it, it will go too close. All right, so here's the three different pages, right? So this one's the pattern paper only, print it directly onto the pattern paper. This is just using the quarter of an inch, um, the, the traceable template on top, the base, and then the traceable template, and then this one's using all three. So, the look, I mean, they look so much different, even though they're the same, you know what I mean? The same template, the same paper, they look so different. Okay, I'm going to scoot back out. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, this first page is done. Look, there's the inside of that one. There's the inside of that one. And there's the inside of that one, right? They're so cool. I'm so excited. I'm so glad I decided to show you guys the three different ways 
to do the same exact page. It just is so cool. So there is page number one in our 4x6 portrait album. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and leave me a comment below. Let me know which one is your favorite page type um, and I'll see you next time. Bye!